So about this matter of men either not marrying on time or not wanting to marry at all, please, what can you say about it? Hmm, that matter has a lot of weight. If a man says he doesn't want to marry, I am sure he must have a specific reason and we need to find out from his perspective to know why he has made that decision. Yes, I know there are reasons for that. We are not talking about a specific man like Mr. Benga, Malam Usman or Dr. Uchi. Hey, uncle, you are mentioning Usman. A bookie that if they don't have work, Alaji will marry three wives for them to just be multiplying. And you are saying... Chako, I said it's not specific. That was just a rhetorical speech. Anyways, I think one of the reasons why some men are not getting married on time, I mean those ones who don't want to get married on time. Yes, Grandpa, fire down. One of such reasons could be as a result of the harsh economic situation of the nation as a whole. Hmm, yeah, you're right. In our days, once you graduate from the university, you are sure of a job waiting for you. In some cases, some companies will send their human resources representatives to universities on convocation days to fish out the graduate who've come out with flying colors and offer them jobs instantly. Wow. Today, even if you graduate with first class, two years after, you are still strolling the streets searching for jobs. Uncle Shea, you see now, how can that kind of person marry when he cannot even feed himself? Shut up there. But Grandpa, we have young men in their late 30s and some even in their 40s that money is not their problem. Yet they are not ready to settle down. Yes. Another reason is that not everyone that wears his skirt is a wife material. You may think that there are a lot of girls out there, even the beautiful ones. But how come men are not marrying them even when they are capable of marrying? It is when you are searching for a wife that you know that women are scarce. Not every woman is capable of making a good home. Hmm, that reminds me of a friend. He has dated a particular girl for over two years or so. But when it was time to marry, he went and married someone else, someone we've never saw him with. And this other girl that he was dating was very beautiful. And when we asked him why, all he could tell us is that not all that glitters is gold. I think now I understand him better. Uncle Shea, you, you don't know that diamond used to glitter more than gold. Another reason I can tell you is that some of these men are not ready to settle down. You know from creation of a man, he likes variety a lot. That's why you see some men cheat. Because it takes the fear of God and moral sanity for a man to stay with one woman. Okay. So you are saying some don't want to marry because it is in their DNA to keep different women. Not every man behaves that way. Uh -huh. Grandpa, I wanted to ask you so that you can tell us whether you two you used Will to... Will you shut up? So some men still want to flirt around before they make their final choice. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Another thing is that some men have had bad experience from past relationships. So they feel they have to be on their own. Especially when you come across nagging ladies. Ah, oh, that can cause a man's early death. That's why some men leave home very early and come back late. Some even develop the habit of drinking just because of nagging. Even the book of Proverbs says it's better to live in the desert than to live with a nagging wife. That same proverb also says it is better for rain to continuously drip on you than to put up with a nagging wife. Let's not forget that there are also some men that women can't stay with. There are some men that are either the commanding type, or the abusive type, or they are the picky type. Some are even mommy's boy. So women find it difficult to put up with them or their demands. And if you fall in that category where it's not that you are poor, you are capable of taking care of a woman, and not that you are too ugly that women are running away from you. But you just know that women can't stay with you as a soulmate. Maybe you should check yourself first if you are the cause, and where applicable, I think you should adjust for your own good. Also, don't forget to check whether your village people has planted bitter leaf in your backyard so that no woman will ever remain in your house. You people should check that one too. Takbo at it again. You have a point anyways. Yes, so I think he has a point there. 
because there was this guy who posted that he gave a girl that he wanted to marry 3 million naira to start a business. Next thing he knew was that the same lady got married to another man. Abraham Moses and Nebuchadnezzar. Plantain water that has mixed with coconut sap. Hey! Please, we are not going into that story today. We've come to the end of this episode and thank you again for joining us. Please leave a comment and let us know if you are a single man out there, apart from money being the issue, why haven't you gotten married yet? And if you are a woman too, please let us know if you have had any encounter with a man whom you didn't get married to because of your own choice. Please let us know what his flaws were so that we can learn from each other and adjust accordingly. You people should subscribe on YouTube and like our Facebook page. Uncle, you didn't talk about those allergy that used to marry four wives and still go and rent a house for one small girl. Thank you.